Hello guys, today we are going to introduce to how to use the C++ programming code C programming in Visual Studio Code. Uh, my name is Mehmet Ishan. Uh, I am uh, the assistant of the, this uh, lesson. Uh, I'm teaching the uh, C++ programming uh, or the C programming language with uh, my professor uh, Hussein Uet. And so in order to start our coverage, and so the, we have to install this Visual Studio Code or Visual Studio 2019 because uh, it's our editor uh, and so we need to use uh, to code or write a code in our lesson approach. It's an easy way and so you can also install the Visual Studio Code but the Visual Studio Code needs some implementation codes compiler or debugger should be installed uh, by using this Visual Studio Code. And so if you don't uh, have to use this, and so you need to install the Visual Studio 2019, or you can use the Visual Studio Code. It's simple installing, but you need to <coughs> additionally install the compiler and debugger of the C or C++ programming language, okay? And so, uh, in our lesson, uh, we will follow this Visual Studio 2019. And so, <coughs> if you install this installation, and so we can start it by pushing left click in here, and then we're gonna create a project, okay? And so, after the starting the, this Visual Studio 2019, and so we have this kind of a picture in here okay and so in order to create a new project or in order to open a local folder project or solution and then you should select uh, one of these section or selections okay and so in order to create a new project and then we should select uh, this one okay <coughs> and so by pushing the left click and then we have a new window in here okay <coughs> And so, in Visual Studio, then we have the many language. And so, the its uh, whole selections are the compilers of the specific language. For example, the Python, or JavaScript, or Judo, or C++, or Visual Basic. And so, if you have the this uh, compiler section in your computer, and then you can use it in the Visual Studio 19 selection okay and so <coughs> we don't need to create a c programming language <coughs> or c compiler because the c plus plus and c have many common language properties and so if you create a c programming codes or compiling process or debugging process and you should select the c plus plus section in here okay <coughs> And then, if we have to change this selection, for example, C sharp, and so we have the many selections or choosons in here, okay? But <coughs> in our lesson, we will use the C++ or C programming language, and so we should select the C++ language, okay? And then, there are uh, many options in here. For example, dynamic link library creation or Windows desktop application or the empty project. But in our study or in our lesson, we should use or we should select the console application section. Because C and C++ programming is the basic uh, black window application. And so we need to select this uh, console application in order to create a user interface design or the object oriented design you should select the windows desktop application in here okay but in our study we should select the console application okay <coughs> and so you need to push the next button in here and then we have a new window in here and so there are two or three stage in here which means that the project name is included to our projects folder name okay and so this the v2 session in here and then i can write then v2 okay and so you can set the anything 
in the project names, for example, Hasan or Bardak or Cup or Badal. And so <coughs> there is no re restriction to create or to write a project name, but in order to get a meaningful name and so you need to specify the project name in here and so for example in our session the week two example or application session is utilized or is implemented in our lesson and so i can give a name to indicating the what is the meaning of this lesson okay and so i can set the week two in here okay and so the solution name is the same with the project name until this tick is removed okay and so is this tick is removed then we can create a different solution name but you don't know now the solution name or project name and so uh, you need to tick uh, this section and so the project name and solution name should be same in this lesson okay <coughs> and so in the second stage we have a location selection in here okay the location selection which means that we can click this button in here and so we can select the specific location of this project or our project and so if we choose the specific location in here the week two can be selected in here and then the whole the program files or folders should be included in this uh, week two folder okay you can select the desktop or anything in your windows or linux application but you need to <coughs> select this location okay and so the select folder should be included in here and then if we push the create button in here with the left hand click and so the our project is created okay and then in our project we have this kind of window which is related to the visual studio okay visual studio is the ide or in the expansion form is the integrated development environment which means that it is some kind of the notepad but it's much much more higher improved capability to utilize or to change or to write your codes easily okay you can use the intelligence session in here or you can create uh, some files in here and you can compile or debug by using this ide function okay as well as the visual studio and visual studio code has these properties but in visual studio code you should install the many feature or the whole feature by hand okay and so if you use the visual studio like this one <coughs> and so the whole setups are included automatically by the visual studio but in visual studio code they are not okay and so these are the main uh, program body in here and then <coughs> we have the tree section in here and firstly we can delete this whole these things and so we can describe or we should describe the each of this section by the meaning of this okay and so in the first place uh, we have the some kind of the like the notepad editor in here the command window section at this time okay and so by using this section we can write a code or debug a code or compile a code in here and so if you need to write a specific c or c plus plus program or any other programming in visual studio then you must write the whole the code in this session like this one okay and so though we can uh, write it down as uh, std c out and so hello guys can be given in here and then we can uh, write or we can run this program or we can add the many features 
including the C or C++ programming language, okay? The feature of the C++ or C programming language, okay? And so these are the main editor in here, and uh, it's kind of the notepad, but it's much higher the improved one. And so if we need to write a code, and then we should add some specific keywords or some specific sentences or some specific object operator should be given in this command window. Okay, and so <coughs> we have the another section in here which means that we have a solution explorer section okay the solution explorer includes the whole the solution and projects value of this project and the, what is the solution or what is the project okay the solution is the main framework that includes the many project files or the many some setup project files or the open source project files okay and so if we have the solution in here and then we can add the many projects in here okay and so at the bottom of this is solution value and then we have the project folder in here or the project section the project is related to do including to some main function block or some header files or libraries okay and so if we use the this project file and then uh, we can run the any kind of program by using this project files okay and so if we need to add the solution of these things and then we should add with the right click of these things and a new project can be added in here okay and so if you need to add the some projects and so the x projects in here and then we can create it down as kind of these things okay and so in this time the solution has two projects one of them is the name with the x project and the week two is one of the projects okay and so <coughs> these projects may be related to the, the some showing the graphs or the some the control block units or the related to the, the library of the <coughs> artificial intelligence okay and so on the internet the, there are many libraries and the, there are many open source projects should be included to this solution variable and so if you have if you as if we have a hand the engineer and so uh, we need to use this kind of information or this project because we cannot write every code in our purposes okay and so the x project for example uh, with the rename of uh, these things uh, may be related to the uh, neural network approach okay and so if we use this or if we add uh, this uh, project into our solution and then we can use it okay but if we don't include this neural network into the solution and then we cannot use these things okay and so the solution may have the many projects with the useful information or the, with the useful functions but the solution should be one in our visual studio application okay and so in our study we should uh, describe this uh, delete for now because the <coughs> the main challenge of this lesson is to learn how to use the solution explorer section and so the main difference is the between the solution and project uh, is that the solution should be one in our visual studio and so the projects may have many kind of projects with the sum useful includes operation or the useful function for example the control to the library or the graphing the sum showing the graphic uh, library or the control the <coughs> uav or the neural network approach but we have in this lesson the week two for now and so in week two 
for now, though we have the references, external dependencies, and source file, the resource file, and header files section. And what are those things? And so the reference, which means that the external dependency in here is a specific libraries to be pre compiled libraries which means that we can use it and we can write it as a <coughs> prepared or the pre-compiled codes especially in our section or in our lesson std cout <coughs> is a function of the c++ but if we run this program and then we can use it hello world is coming okay but we don't write or the, we didn't write the cout function or std function and so what's that meaning the meaning of this is that the cout or std is pre-include in this libraries okay and so in c or c plus plus programming we can use these libraries in order to create a program like the input output function like the using the showing graphs like the combination of the any arithmetic operators in our session or using the string or char class or string class in our study and so as a result the external dependencies is a directly related to our libraries that we will use in our code or in our compilation or debugging section okay and so <coughs> the header file and resource file at now the we don't need to know about this but the header files they includes the some header files uh, because the we should give the compiler some specific information related to the function but you don't need to use this now the only thing that we related in this lesson is the v2 cpp okay and so what is the v2 cpp v2 is a special name like the mehmet or hussein or hassan but that cpp extension is directly indicating to type of this file session which means that if we write it in here the dot cpp and then the visual studio analyze it and visual studio understand that this is the cpp file c++ file okay but if i change the name of this session like this one cs and so the c plus plus is, is changed with the c sharp application cs is the extension of the c sharp but you don't need to or you don't know to do this but if we run this program now the hello world is coming again but it's not our session okay and so if we create a c file because uh, in our lesson we don't need to use a cpp because mm, our main challenge or i our main course of this lesson is related to the c programming language and so what we do now is the v2.c is directly related to the c programming language or c file okay and so if we set <coughs> this property and then we can write it down or run this program then we have many error in here okay and so we should delete all the these things and so uh, the next file is related to the our session okay and so in the whole this lesson or the whole weeks we should use the week2.c extension okay which means that 
this is the C file application okay and so we have the another section points in here which means that the error list output and find symbol results this is the output section and error section in here okay and so this section gives us a detailed information relates to our compiling and debugging section okay if we have a completion or the if we compile a some c files in here and then we have an error for example and so the ide or the visual studio can tell us by using this error list section okay like this one and so if we write down with the random codes in here and then we can run this program and then look at this the output of these things is showing in here okay build zero succeed one failed huh. okay and so our completion or our compiler process is fail okay but <coughs> if you write this kind of codes include stdioh and so int main block in here return zero and then if you run this program and then build one succeed and zero failed okay and so this completion or the this compiler process is succeeded okay and so there is no error in here but if we write this down and so we have a fail in here and so error list shows us the specific errors relate to our codes and so if you have an any error and show and so you should firstly check this session okay error list section and then you can find the error code or the some mistakes in your codes okay this is a guidance to fix your errors okay and so the first day you should write these codes and then you should compile this code and then if you have an any error in this time and so you should check this error list this directed to the syntax error this is okay and so and now if you create a project and so you have you may have this kind of tree section but what if if you don't have the solution explorer session for example like this one and so in the view session in the main toolbar we can select or we can show any kind of list in here okay the solution explorer and then we can push the left click in here and so tata we got this okay and so if you don't have this a uh, kind of output or find symbol results in here and so you can use the weave session and so the error list can be added in here and so in the weave session we can also add the output session in here okay you can use it like this one okay <coughs> and so as for now mm, there's too much uh, enough uh, to use the visual studio uh, and so uh, if you are using the or if you prefer to use the visual studio code uh, there are main challenges uh, to select uh, these codes because the this session this session and the debugging session or compiling session should be installed by hand in visual studio code okay <coughs> and so um, i can bypass in here but uh, in many classes or the in some classes i can use the visual studio code okay and so, so <coughs> as i prefer the i am uh, using the visual studio code because it's a simpler and it's a faster but it's the easy way to learn the c programming language in visual studio not visual studio code okay and so uh, for now the we can pass to write a code in the visual studio okay 
As you can see, we should add the some specific library in here, stdio.h. I can explain later in this code, int main should be added in here. And so return zero should be added in here in the first pro program. And then we have the hello world. Okay. And so if we use the control F5 button in here, and then this project is run. Hello world is written in the debug console section. Okay. And so these are the first program and uh, we should analyze in order to learn about how to use it in efficient way okay but in the first place we should understand the meaning of the debugging and compiling session in the first place okay so in the command line in the command window in here we can use this kind of section okay one slash and star star and slash is a comment line okay comment line means that the compiler doesn't care these codes and so this is the specific notes for our users or coders or yours okay and so if you use this uh, syntax and then you can take a note in the in this session okay and so if we pass uh, this session and so the we have the mehmet is john in here and then if we run this program then we have an error because the mehmet is john cannot be used by the c programming language but these codes are also used not used for the c programming language but if i delete this keyword and then if we rerun this program and then everything is okay okay because this is the comment line okay and so is there an, another way to define a comment line in here with the two slash variable okay and so if you write a slash and the slash and so we can write any sentences or any words in here okay and so if you rerun this program and then <coughs> we don't have any error in here okay and so if we use or if we want to use the c programming language we should learn Firstly, the debugging and compiling session in here, okay? And how to use uh, this compiler and debugging session in Visual Studio Code with some keywords, okay? These are the main topic in here. And now, <coughs> we have two concepts in here. And so we can delete it because we should focus on in the later time and so in the first place we should learn about the compiler meaning okay what's the meaning of this this is the main programming terminology and so we have the another <coughs> concept in programming language is a debugging okay in formal things the compiler is used to translating or translate translating the programming code into the binary one or binary code but what does that mean for example if you have a code like this one integer a is equal to five or integer c is equal to six okay this directly relates to the c programming language but the machine code or the cpu or ram doesn't understand the meaning of this because we understand these things for example in turkish benim adım mehmet and so 
But if you have a foreign student, you can understand, you can't understand these things. And so now I'm trying to translate these things into the my name is Mehmet. And so you can understand these things because you can speak or write or listen to English in English but you cannot understand these sentences in Turkish okay the compiler is main translating to the programming code like this one benim adım Mehmet into the binary code my name is Mehmet but in the binary code we have only one and zero because the whole the CPUs consist of the transistors and transistors can only be understandable by using these codes one and zero open and close okay and so <coughs> if we run or if we write a C code and then if we need to run in the CPU or your computer and then we should use the compiler code or compiler program in order to translate all these things or these codes into the binary code the main function of compiler is that okay and so the visual studio has normally have a compiler okay like this one if we use the C or C++ programming your compiler directly to relate to the C C++ programming should be included in this Visual Studio code okay because if we don't have the compiler code and then we cannot compile this code into the CPU language which means that it's binary code okay this is the compiler section okay and so <coughs> in the solution section if you push the right click in here and so the build solution is directly related to the compilation or compiling operation okay and so if we push these things and so this is the compiles the whole the codes but we don't have any codes in here and so we should write it again and again you don't need to understand these things for now and so if you rerun this program and then we can build a uh, this solution then the build solution is the compiling operation or compiling process okay and so we can compile these things okay and so what if if we use this the project section we can compile it but there are the main differences between the compiling of the solution and the project file but you don't need to know this for now in the next lesson or the <coughs> fourth and uh, fifth uh, weeks uh, we learn about how to use it okay and so if we compile uh, this code and so we need to the compiler section okay and so the the most popular uh, compiler programs is the gjj g++ and something like that okay and so in the visual studio we use the gcc compiling section and uh, relate the standard version of this but this is the advanced topics related to the c programming language and you don't need to use this or you don't need to know this for now okay and so c plus plus 11 c plus plus 17 or c 99 <coughs> is the basic version of these programs and so the compiler is the another program in order to convert the whole the programming code into the binary code and the visual studio must 
have it in order to run the this program okay and so these are the basic definition of the compiler session and then now we can pass the debugging session and so what is the debugging session or debugging programming like the compiler session debugging is the another program in order to use to fix the error or the catch the error for example catching the formal definition is that catching the errors in programs or C programs okay and so <coughs> for example the debugging session consists of the two words D and back back is directly related to the the meaning of the bug is the error in our programming language and so debug is a negative of the bug and so if we use the debugging session and then we can catch the error or we can fix the error of these programming codes okay and so <coughs> and now if we recompile our project and then we can select these things and the rebuild solution or build solution here and so we can build this program and then we have the executable code now but if we use the debugging session and then local windows debugger session in here okay debug x x and out it's uh, the advanced information related to c you don't need to know this but if you left click you're pushing the left click in here and then we have the program is started okay and so it's the debugging session and you can also use the debugging session with the control plus f5 button in your studio like this one i'm pushing the control f5 in here and then the program is running okay and so we have a window in here console window the debug console is opening and then the related results is directly related to this code session okay this is the main concept of our debugging session and compiling session in summary compilers is used to translating the programming code into the cpu one because the cpu does only understand the binary codes and so we need to have used the have the compiler in our programming language and so debugging is related to the catching errors in c programming language but in application or in examples you can understand the underlying mechanism of these things extensively and in deeply okay you don't worry about this and so finally we have the main structure body in here and so we can give a comment line at this time like this one x1 okay and so in order to create a C programming language with a proper format or proper language syntax and semantics we can write it down as a code and so the, there are two more definition in here syntax and semantic in here syntax is the language rules okay for example my name is Mehmet and so in the English we have the subject or the for example the Mehmet C Mehmet watch TV in here and so uh, we have the subject firstly in English because <coughs> we have a object in here but after that we should continue with the verb in Turkish the yüklem 
and so we can also add a this time of this object or in Turkish to match okay and so this is the order of the creating to a any other sentences in English properly okay this is the syntax rule or language rule and so in order to write a proper or the correct code in C programming language and so you need to obey the syntax rules like this one okay and so what about the semantic the semantic is the logical rules for example the logical rules is related to runtime but you don't need to know now the runtime in the next lesson we will talk about it uh, but the semantics uh, means that the this sentences is meaningful or not for example Mehmet take or the Mehmet attack horse and so in Turkish Mehmet ata saldırıyor but that may be it's meaningful meaningless and so this kind of English sentences does not have a meaning and so I'm um, now I'm uh, writing or I'm teaching your English study the C programming language but the, I'm writing now the Mehmet attacks horse it make no sense okay but the syntax rule is correct because the subject verb and the object is in the right order okay and so I share fly or they fly the car this is meaning or not it's meaningless but the subject verb and um, object is correct okay but there's there is no meaning of these sentences like this one in the programming language some keywords or some codes obeys the syntax but not the logical rules and so this is called the semantic rules for example if we have the two variable int a is equal to 5 int b is equal to 0 and so int c is equal to a divided by by b okay and so 5 divided by 0 is infinite but the c cannot be take the this variable value infinite and so this is syntax correct but the semantics is wrong in here okay and so we have the syntax and semantic rules in here but you can analyze these two things in order to create a right or correct code formation in C programming language okay and now we can write the first code relate to our lesson <coughs> firstly any C program or the C programming language should include the main function main function block okay the main function means that it's the starting address to run cpu codes okay the main is the main specific address in our ram okay and so if we have this kind of address and then the compiler use this address is a starting point okay and so if we don't have this function or this main function and then we cannot compile or we cannot debug 
any program in C programming language and so you need to write uh, this code in order to run any program in C programming language for example I can give the command line in here like this one and so the program or the, this command window has no main function and so if we run this program and then we have an error which means that unresolved external symbol main referenced cannot be found in here okay because unresolved external symbol which means that the you don't have the main reference function in here okay invoke uh, means that it's a, a specific thread uh, in order to create these things and so for example or the as a result we should add this main function block in here okay and so in the at the left hand of this main function we have the type parameter in here integer this is the return type of this main function block in C programming language every function has a return value which means that return is a keyword in here zero if this main function block has properly <coughs> run by the compiler and the CPU and then this function returns zero as a success or failure okay and so if the this main function cannot return the zero and then you can understand that the, this main function block is not running or is not running properly okay and so this main function block can be run this time and so this debug console is in here and then we may the knowledge or we have a knowledge that this program is running or have run properly okay and so <coughs> if we have this kind of program and then we can write the some specific function related to the C plus C programming language which means that printf is one of our function in here and so if we write a specific code hello world in here with a new line character and then we can run this program and then we have an error because printf in here the is not defined unresolved external symbol which means that <coughs> printf is a standard C programming language function function and so we must use it in our programming language but uh, what is the error in here and so in order to use these things you can remember that the external dependencies in here with the reference values okay and so this codes or these external dependencies and the references include to some many libraries in order to use this kind of function a standard C programming function which is included in the GCC or G++ okay which is the R compiler and the whole the syntax and semantic rules are included in this compiler and so this is also is included by the compilers but how can we use it in order to use that we have the include operation or the sum precompile keywords in here in order to use the printf function we should write it the standard input output dot h file in here okay standard io is a header file but is a standard c programming function header file and if you want to use this header file and its related functions and then you need to write the sharp 
include open and close parentheses in here or smaller and greater symbol in here and then we can use the printf function now okay and so if we rerun this program and then we get the hello world words or sentences now okay and so there are many libraries the um, including the some specific function related to sim programming functions or libraries or the modularities uh, but uh, if you want to any other function you should check on the internet and then you should find the specific header file because i don't know the uh, every h file because the many file is included in the c or c plus plus and so in order to use or in order to write a specific standard c programming function codes or in order to use the standard functions in c programming language and then you should check the internet and then you should learn about how to use it with how or with uh, what includes io programming or the header file should be included in your studies or the codes okay and so this is our the first lesson in here so in the next lesson uh, we will create uh, some specific programs in here but the their main the one example session in that time because the we want to use the if block or the some value block in here and so after the completing the one simple program in here like this one and so we can end this lesson okay and so now the first example is given in here okay and so the the R first program is relating to the comparing integers okay and so step by step we design this program okay in here and then I don't have the at the same time this program but now i can split uh, my screen into the two parts okay and so in the first place uh, we should read the question in here and so uh, we should uh, split into the parts okay and so the main purpose of uh, this uh, question is that to write a program that asks the user to enter two integ integers okay and so we need to add the this time the include std or standard input output header file in here okay and so we should add the main function block because the starting point is given in here okay these are main program blocks and so the program that asks the user to to enter two integers okay and so we need to define <coughs> the two integer value in here and so in order to create an integer type variables we should use the int keyword okay this is directly related to integer value and so we need to give the specific name to this variable num1 okay and so we should put these things in order to give the crlf a function in here because the these things dot comma means that uh, this code only itself is a meaning for the programs okay and so in the second place we should add the another variable in here and so we have defined two integer value like this one enter two integers value and so we should ask the user 
with the printf function printf is a general purposes input output function which means that if we write a specific code like this this <coughs> keyword the char character and so enter two integer values which is the integer character in here and so if we run this program then we have like this one enter two integer values is given in here okay but in order to store the any input variable or coming from the user and then we should use the scanfs as function block in here scanfs function is an input function to store the user inputs into the num1 and num2 which means that firstly we should give the type of the integer which means that percentage d percentage d means that percentage d is directly related to the integer type of these things and so if we have two integer variable in here and so we should put to percentage d percentage d and so what happens if we add the num3 and so in order to <coughs> store the tree variable and so we need to add one more time percentage d in here but in our case we don't need to use this and so in order to create these things and so we should give a comma in here and so we need to give the specific address variable of this num1 and num2 in c programming language address num1 which, which is given by the end operator in here and so address num2 is related to the num2 operator okay and so address num2 or num1 is directly related to the first thing is related to the first one second thing is related to the num2 address operator okay and so if we rerun this program and then the program waits until the these two things is given in here <coughs> for example <coughs> five one empty space and four and so in order to give this kind of information or this input and then we should put the enter and then the program is ended because the, there is no code in here okay and so <coughs> after that <coughs> then the the following objective of this program obtains a number from the user and then prints the larger number followed by the words is larger if the number equals equal <coughs> and so <coughs> we should compare the whole integers <coughs> by using the if block <coughs> okay <coughs> and so <coughs> the if statement is given by this uh, syntax okay we should write the if block in here and the uh, open close parenthesis in here and the condition must be written in this filling space okay and so if we have two number in here num1 and num2 and then if we have the num1 greater than the num2 if it's the correct and then we have a space in here like this one the parenthesis includes the this if blocks okay and so this condition num1 is greater than num2 and then the following code is proceed with this block okay and so if this is the case and so printf can be written in here and so the num1 percentage d is larger than percentage d and new line character which the enter character in here and so we can write it down okay and so what is the 
First, percentage D. Percentage D is directly related to num1 and so the second is num2. Okay? And so the compiler <coughs> switch this num1 variable into the this one and so this num2 is replaced with the second percentage D value for the integer value. Okay? And so in the other case if num1 is equal to num2 and then we can write it down as the printf percentage d is equal to percentage d okay and so num1 is added in in here num2 is in added in here okay and so if we run this program and then enter two integer values in here and so 5 and 4 5 is related to num1 4 is related to num2 and so if we have the push the enter button and so 5 is larger than 4 okay these are the program is it's correct and so if we rerun this program and then 4 4 is given in here in this case the 4 is equal to 4 and so 4 is equal to 4 okay but what happened if we give the 4 5 4 is smaller than 5 and so there is no input or output variable in here or output string in here because we did not write the code consisting of this condition or the covering this condition and so in order to create this code and so new one is smaller than new two and then we can write it down as the printf and so percentage d is smaller than percentage d and the first percentage is related to num1 in the second one is the num2 okay and so in this case if we rerun this program with the control f5 and so for 18 4 is smaller than 18 okay and so this is the first <coughs> lesson application in here and so in start we have learned how to create a project in C or C++ programming in Visual Studio and so we have learned about the project usage or the solution explorer coding or editor usage or the error list output usage in here and then we have learned about the command line section and compiler and debugging section and so the related rules is given by the syntax and semantic rules in here and the first body structure is given in here and then the second is the main example session of this application section i hope you have learned about the c programming language and so <coughs> in order to improve your skills in c programming language uh, please the check the internet uh, on the some uh, writing the specific example codes because the if you have the many examples to be written in your computer and then you can easily learn to write a code in C programming okay see you in the next week